All right, this is going to be just a quick update on my little road trip. I went to Pittsburgh this morning, hit up the Allegheny Smoke Shop, Smoke Works. If you watched my last video this morning, my uh, top tobaccos of 2019. I'm on vacation, I just wanted to see what they had up there. And this is by no means to knock a company or anything like that, but it doesn't compare to anything Boswell's has. Boswell's is fantastic. Of course, it's three and a half, four hour drive for me versus the hour and 20 minutes or so to Pittsburgh. Uh, the smoke lounge was very small. They did have a nice selection of cigars. And they did have a fair amount of pipe tobacco. I didn't do no recording because uh, there wasn't that many people in there and the owner was there and uh, it was just kind of awkward. Uh, they were fairly friendly. Uh, the cigar prices were right on the money what they're supposed to be. But of course, pipe tobacco phew, jacked up. Now don't get me wrong, I know brick and mortars have to charge more to make their money versus internet sales. I understand that. I don't have no problem supporting you know, a lounge like that if I could go and buy something and smoke it in the lounge, support the local business, but the cigar prices, like I said, were fairly right on the, the market where they should be. <laughs> so tobacco? Uh, I bought a few tins, I bought a couple tins, and uh, I was really just looking to see what they really had. I'll show you what I got. I didn't get very much. I actually only brought, I only bought two tins of tobacco. Jermaine's Royal Jersey Perique Mixture. And I bought Jermaine's English mixture, King Charles smoking mixture, uh, 17 bucks a piece. Now that's fair. I don't have a problem with that at all, especially being fairly hard to find. Okay, now let's get to the good part. So I, I go and uh, of course I see some esoterica there. Uh, the Balkan Sobrani was was seventeen dollars a ten. That's that's not bad at all, really. I, I'm I'd be willing to pay that. The Esoterica, which I'm not really big on anyway. Like I say, it's all hype for the most part, but you like what you like. Uh, they had Stonehaven and Penzance in bulk where you could buy it by the ounce, which I, I have all that stuff anyway, but I just wanted to see the prices. They had no bags of it, but they did have the normal, the in soda bed, the Pembroke, the Margate, stuff like that. $76 a bag, $76 plus tax. I have about laughed at the guy. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Nah, not this guy, no way. Did buy some nice cigars. I don't know if those of you that are into cigars or not. If you're not, you wouldn't know what the hell these are anyway. <laughs> but, real fast, I got the Diamond Crown Maximus. This is a fantastic cigar. And I got the Julius Caesar. Another fantastic cigar. Fernandez, AJ Fernandez. And I bought three of the uh, Roma Craft. Nice cigars. That's all I bought. But uh, just a quick update. And what was pretty cool was Cody, the smoking fireman. He's from my area. You follow him on YouTube. He's in the community. He's went with me to Boswell's and he went with me to the Ohio Pipe Show last year. Well, Cody bought a pipe rack a huge big pipe rack from a guy at the Columbus Ohio pipe show and as soon as I walked into the place this guy come up to me 
and I recognized him. He was from the Ohio Columbus Pipe Show. He was, he was a vendor there selling, and that's where Cody bought his pipe rack. So I thought that was pretty cool. He remembered me, and he remembered Cody. And he remembered where I was from. And as I was leaving, like I said, the lounge was really small. Really small. Like It looked like six, seven chairs, and that was it. I don't know how they show have a, a pipe club meet up there every Saturday, every other Saturday of the month, but whatever. So I'm walking out, and I hear somebody say, Mr. Doran, Mr. Doran. And I'm like, are they talking to me? <laughs> Nobody calls me by Mr. Doran. That's my dad, not me. So I'm like, I turn around, and it's some guy that uh, recognized me from, uh, apparently it's got to be from YouTube, and uh, he had recently just bought a pipe off me this past summer, and he I thought that was really cool. So I talked to him for a few minutes. So it's a, it is a small world. I mean, I was there half hour, 45 minutes, just talking a little bit, and uh, ran into two people that uh, knew me. But other than that, I'm going to tinker around out here today and try to clean this garage up a little bit. Hope everybody has a good, happy, safe new year. And I'll probably be making some more videos while I'm on vacation because I'm bored. Peace.